How can the use of sex toys complement and enrich the anal sex experience? What is the connection between emotional health and sexual satisfaction? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. The use of sex toys can complement and enrich the anal sex experience by providing additional stimulation and a variety of sensations. Toys specifically designed for anal sex, such as anal plugs or anal vibrators, can help relax muscles and increase pleasure. Emotional health can have a significant impact on sexual satisfaction, as emotions such as stress, anxiety, depression, or relationship conflicts can affect sexual desire, arousal, and the ability to experience pleasure during sex. Adaptation in Sexual Therapy Some sexual therapists use principles of the Kama Sutra in their practices to help couples overcome sexual issues, enhance intimacy, and revitalize their sex lives. Adventure and Free Spirit Some women are attracted to men who are adventurous and willing to try new things. Aftercare After anal activity, it's important to pay attention to care and hygiene to avoid possible discomfort or infections. Age Fetishism Some people have fetishes related to age difference, where they find excitement in power dynamics and experience associated with a generational gap. In some Amazonian communities in South America, knowledge about medicinal plants and traditional practices used to treat sexual and reproductive health issues, such as infertility and infections, is transmitted. Amputation Fetishism Although less common, some individuals experience sexual arousal towards individuals with amputated limbs, known as amputation fetishism. Anal Stimulation while not all women enjoy anal stimulation, some find pleasure in positions that allow for stimulation of this area, such as the doggy style or spooning position. Ancient practice. Anal sex is not exclusive to the modern era. It has been depicted in various cultures and times throughout history. Anorgasmia and chronic illnesses. Chronic medical conditions, such as diabetes, multiple sclerosis, and cardiovascular disease, can affect blood circulation and nerves, contributing to anorgasmia. Anorgasmia and couples therapy. Couples therapy can be beneficial in addressing communication issues, unrealistic expectations, and conflicts that may contribute to anorgasmia in a relationship. Anorgasmia and masturbation. Masturbation can be a safe and effective way to explore individual sexual response and learn which techniques or stimuli are most effective in inducing orgasm in individuals with anorgasmia. Anorgasmia and physical exercise. Regular physical exercise can help improve sexual function and reduce symptoms of anorgasmia by increasing blood circulation, reducing stress, and enhancing self-esteem. Anorgasmia and sexual education. Lack of adequate sexual education and understanding of normal sexual response can contribute to anorgasmia by creating unrealistic expectations or myths about sex and orgasm. Antibiotic resistance. Some STDs, such as gonorrhea and syphilis, are developing resistance to antibiotics, making their treatment and control difficult. Artistic photography. Contemporary photographers have created works inspired by the Kama Sutra, using photography as a medium to explore the beauty and diversity of human sexual pleasure. Association. Between breast size and attractiveness, perceptions of breast attractiveness vary among cultures and individuals. There is no ideal size, and beauty is subjective. In countries like Canada and Australia, inclusive sex education programs are being implemented that recognize and respect the diversity of gender identities and sexual orientations, thus promoting acceptance and equity. Available vaccines. Safe and effective vaccines are available to prevent certain STDs, such as human papillomavirus, HPV, and hepatitis B, which can be administered in childhood or adolescence. Board games. 
Board games based on the Kama Sutra have been created, designed for couples who wish to explore their sexuality in a fun and creative way. Body confidence. Feeling confident and comfortable in one's body can greatly impact a woman's willingness to experiment with different sexual positions and embrace her sexuality more fully. Breast size and desire. Studies have shown that there is no significant correlation between a woman's breast size and her ability to arouse sexual desire in others. Attractiveness is subjective and varies from person to person. Breastfeeding fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by observing or participating in breastfeeding during sexual activities. This fetish may be related to maternal connection and intimacy of breastfeeding. In countries like Canada and Australia, specific sexual education programs have been developed to address the needs of LGBTQ plus youth and promote inclusion and respect for sexual and gender diversity. Cervical orgasm. For some women, the cervix becomes an erogenous zone during sex, and proper stimulation of this area can lead to intense cervical orgasms. Each person is different, and some may find this type of orgasm surprisingly pleasurable. Changing norms. Social and cultural norms surrounding open relationships are evolving. What was once considered taboo or unacceptable is now more widely accepted in many communities. Cinematic adaptations. Several films have been inspired by the Kama Sutra, exploring its teachings and visually representing its sexual positions in a stimulating manner. Co-infection. It is possible to contract more than one STD at the same time, known as co-infection, which can complicate treatment and increase the risk of long-term complications. Communication. After the act. After the experience, it's important to talk about how both parties felt. Open communication can strengthen intimacy and mutual understanding. Variation in intensity. Changing the intensity of caresses, kisses, and other forms of stimulation can keep arousal increasing and prevent monotony during foreplay. Variation in techniques. Women use a wide variety of techniques during masturbation, which can include direct clitoral stimulation, vaginal penetration, nipple stimulation, among others. Varied preferences. Women have a wide range of preferences when it comes to sexual positions, which can vary from classic to more unusual ones, depending on factors such as comfort, stimulation, and desired intimacy. Variety of fantasies. Sexual fantasies can vary greatly from one person to another. Some are common, such as sex in public places, while others may be more unusual, such as excitement over foot fetishism. Versatility in relationships. The Kama Sutra is not limited to heterosexuality, but also offers guidance for same-sex couples and individuals with diverse gender identities, making it an inclusive guide to sexual diversity. Vibration and therapy. Vibrations are used in sexual therapy to treat issues such as erectile dysfunction and anorgasmia. Vibrating sex toys can be effective tools in therapy. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.